Hello, trophy owners. I want to walk you through three challenges here in China. The first one's going to be deprivation, followed by a shock to the system, and then finally bullet points. Completing each of these three challenges will award you with a future shock trophy. So let's go ahead and walk through deprivation China. first. This, city is big this is for electric. killing Hush in his relaxing chair. So there's a few different starting points. Pick whichever one you want, but we're heading over to the block. The block is the building where Hush is located. He's gonna be on one of the upper floors. We're gonna make our way up there and wait for him to get into his relaxing chair. It's about 10 minutes from the start of this mission. So the one downside of this challenge is if you wanna do it straight away, is there's gonna be about seven, eight minutes of waiting. But it's not gonna to be too difficult. All we need to do is get one disguise, get a fuse cell, and then insert the fuse cell into a panel and then just waiting after that. So I'm gonna go up these stairs, I'm gonna to turn to the right and you're gonna see the block in front of us. That's the name of the building. And if we go ahead and scan this area, you'll see there are two guards on this lower level. Uh, don't worry about them, we're just gonna jump through the window, climb up the pipe located right behind them to get up to the second floor. Now I failed to mention, you wanna load out a lock pick before you start this mission. Make sure you put that in your loadout when you plan your mission, because we're gonna use that lock pick right here. Now, there, you have time. If you need to go find something to break open that lock, feel free, because uh, we're gonna do about eight minutes of waiting. But we're gonna keep going up these stairs until we see a guard. And we're gonna take him out as his buddy is walking away. If he's not walking away, just wait for him to come back and then start walking away again. Then take his gun and then take his disguise and I'm gonna drag him into this nearby room. Just open the door over here. And we're gonna go ahead and hide his body. Now we have to go get the fuse cell, but we're gonna go down one more level the way we came. Oops, wrong way. And the fuse cell is going to be right in front of us on the other side of the, this gate here, this fencing. Now you get the disguise so you can come back here without much trouble. All right, so now we're going to go back up and we're going to actually go up to the very top. We are going to find the experiment room. We're going to go through that room and find in the back right corner, you're going to see a white cloth and you just go behind it. So here's the experiment room or whatever it's called. See that white cloth? We're just gonna come back here and then go into the next room after this one. There is gonna be one guy with his back towards you who can see you, but if he's got his back towards you, he won't. Insert the fuse cell. I'm just gonna kinda go to the other corner of the room. These other two people in the room are actually gonna walk out. Now this is where the relaxing chair is. It's kinda like a deprivation chamber. It's just a chair though. All you need to do to complete this challenge is to kill Hush when he's sitting in it. Now it's scripted, he will eventually get into that chair, but first he's gonna go into the other chair in the other room before he comes into this one. Now from here, it's gonna be about eight minutes, so let's just go ahead and speed things up. If you have other challenges you wanna tick off your, your list or just kind of explore a little bit, feel free, because you got, again, eight minutes. Just don't interfere with his route. If you do, it'll just take longer. This is a very, very, very lengthy process. He is now in a chair in the other room, so his next stop is going to be here. It's still gonna be a few, few minutes before he gets here. But we're going through this super fast forward speed. All right, from this point, it's up to you uh, to decide how you want to kill him. Just wait until he gets into the chair first. You're going to be alone in this room. No one's going to see you. So I'm going to just shoot him. It's quicker and easier. And once we do, that'll complete the challenge and we'll work on a shock to the system. So I'm just going to go ahead and restart the mission here. I'm going to have a different starting point. I didn't believe this one's going to be the original starting point. You know this the same one if you start off with, with a conversation with this gal next to you. But now to complete the shock in the system challenge, we have to electrocute Royce. This one's actually pretty fun. This is kind of a, a cute little challenge. I like it. I like the way it, it, it flows. So from this beginning, I'm going to come 
follow the path until I get to this little section here and you can see there's a, a woman down there accepting a food delivery. We're just gonna drop down. She's actually sputtering what the door code is, but I'll tell you it's 0118. So from here, we're just going to make our way to the break room. We're going to do everything in and around the break room. Please follow the gray line so we're not going to follow this gray line. Instead, I'm going to just drop down, down over the ledge over here. And the break room is going to be right here on this floor. The break room is actually just ahead. Now I'm going to take out my camera and I'm going to use it to scan this panel here to get the frosted glass because I don't, don't want anyone else to kind of see my shenanigans here. Now inside this break room is two people. We need to lure them out individually and I'm gonna stuff them into this room and hide them. There's also a place where you can put the poison which is a different challenge. So if you equipped the uh, poison vial and brought that with you, you can create a save point right before I kill her and then you can go and get that challenge as well. So I messed with the air conditioning unit and then I hid into this little closet over here and waited for this woman to come out and check out the distraction. So I'm going to lure her in here, dump her in this closet and do the same thing. I'm going to turn on the air conditioning. No, turn it off right away. I don't want it to create more distractions a little bit later. So the exact same thing. We're luring this guy out into the hallway with the frosted glass. No one's going to see you. Not even this other guy just sitting over there to our right. So we just did that twice. Now I'm going to do a disguise. I'm going to have to get a higher security. And we can do that by just luring this guard in here. So I'm going to throw a coin in the corner. I'm going to make sure the door is open first. Otherwise he won't hear it. And then just hide around the couch. We're gonna take him, we're gonna stuff him in a closet in this room and also take his disguise. But you ever had those? They smell like now this break room is where we're gonna electrocute Royce. Uh, on the one corner where we entered this room is a drinking station. And we're gonna use that along with sabotaging an electrical cord to electrocute her. But first let's pick up the disguise. Now in order to lure, Royce into this room, we have to send three of her employees on a break. So once they're on break, they'll come into that room and Royce will then go chase them down. So let's go ahead and do that. The three employees are in this room here. So just keep following it around. Take out your camera. Now you want to hack each of the cameras on their workstations. That will send all three of them onto a break. Now, Royce is going to be walking through here. This this is kind of on her loop, this room. If you're quick enough, you'll catch her. You see it right there. Uh, if you're not quick enough, you'll have to wait for her to do another loop. But while I'm waiting for her to come, I'm going to actually go into the side room here. Good, Looking good. I'm not going to bother firing those three people, but I'm going to pick up the screwdriver. That's the one thing you need to get. Now we're just going to wait for Royce. She's going to come down this, this aisle way here. She's going to see all of her employees are gone. So she's going to go chase them down in the break room and we're going to wait for her there. So here she comes. Don't want to get too close to her. All of them on break. Today of all days. Nope. Break's over. All right, so let's make our way to the break room and wait for her. Once we're in the break room, I'm just going to kind of stand in the corner over here. I'm falling asleep late. She will send all three of these people back to work. You got to make sure they leave the work, uh, the room first. Then we'll expose the wire and then uh, sabotage the, the water. You just got to wait. Now, this is a good time to create a save point if you brought yourself some uh, poison. Because you can also get another challenge by killing Royce uh, are you doing here? by using the poison in the work. closet in the, where we stashed those people earlier. And then turning on the air conditioning. But we're going for the shock okay. to the system. Once these three people leave, we're going to go mess with the wiring. Make sure you do that first. I don't think I asked too much of them. Taking Otherwise, you'll electrocute yourself as well. 
Go ahead and put a leak in the water, run away, and there you go. You completed a shock to the system. Uh, I got my trophy. However, you still need to do the challenge bullet points before you get the trophy. So let's go ahead and do that. Follow the story mission, all seeing eyes. That'll take you to the top of a rooftop. You're gonna be shooting a whole bunch of drones, which looks a lot easier than it actually is. And at the very end of this mission, Actually, the mission is going to complete here in just a second. But at the very end here, our two targets are actually going to cross paths. They're actually going to meet each other. You can see them out in the distance there, one to the left, one to the right. They're going to meet in the middle. You're just going to wait until Royce crosses in front or behind of Hush. So it's a good time to create a save point because if you miss your shot, you can just reload it and try again immediately. So they're going to talk. This is a few minutes later. It was at that moment I realized I should create the save point. So again, just wait for them to cross and you will complete this bullet points challenge if you can shoot both of them with one bullet. Of course, if you miss, reload your save, but here it comes. All right, guys, thank you guys so much for watching. Please hit that like button and, of course, subscribe. Just give me a second and I'm in.